They are in position now, and they're off. Oh, we also already have a crash from Angelina Otto from Germany. Oh, but but she, she is in the back now. Yeah, but she she made a little crash, but she was standing up real quick. You have to. Yeah, she looks okay, and she's already moving up front. She's halfway to back now on the outside, and she's in second position. One lap ago, she crashed a little bit, and now she's in second position. That's a good achievement, right? Yeah. Yeah, they need to have a good reaction to uh, manage that. We see Anna van der Bos now in the back of the peloton. Anna van der Bos achteraan. Yeah, and the Colombian skater is up front now. Now the Italian there, and the Colombian skater was waiting for her teammate. There she is. Yeah, you see positions changing all the time now. Ooh, the girl from China was always in the lead, and now she's in the back of the group. And we see Anna van der Bos now in second position, behind Stoddard from USA. So the Colombian girls on the outside, they will move, they will move to the front. Yeah, now they're taking the first two positions with the American behind her. Ooh, the other Colombian girl couldn't find her teammate. So we see the two French girls now in second and third. And Anna van der Bos is back in the end of the uh, in the back of the peloton. So we have 20 laps to go, 20 laps to go, and the Italian skaters are leading. So 20 laps to go, 12 skaters in this race. The girl from Korea now in front. Young Seo and Na. Yeah, and they go to the first bell. In one and a half lap, the first skater will be eliminated. They go to the bell now. And Anna van der Bos is in the back of the peloton. She has to move up. Yeah, we see Anna van der Bos achter in this group. She moet opschuiven. She mag nu niet als laatste over the finish line komen. And she's so fighting with a girl from Spain. The girl from Spain is taking the inside. Ooh, and this is a close finish. Yeah, we also saw the girl from Korea on the back. We hear 82. Yeah, it's the girl from Korea. Young Seo Na from Korea. 12th Ooh. place for her. She's a good skater. She's a good skater. And she's they are all good. Out. Yeah, they're all good skaters, but it's only the first eliminated skater. So Anna van der Bos is in the back of the pack now. She has to move up. She cannot accelerate out the corner. So she's on the outside, and we learned that's the good spot. Matilda Pedrano, probably. Yeah, it's the girl from France, Matilda Pedrano. Yeah, the girl from France was on the inside of the track. She couldn't accelerate anymore because all the skaters before her stopped, and the girls were behind her, but on the outside of the track, passed her on the finish line. Yeah, we're now in the top 10 of the world, the Junior A ladies 5K elimination. Yeah, and the girl from Germany almost crashed, but she managed to stay up, and now she's in the back of the group. Yeah, we see Anna van der Bos on the outside. Yeah, and I think it's the girl from Spain who crossed the line in last position. Sara Cabrera, 9th, 10th place for her. Yeah, we see smart skating from Anna van der Bos. She's always in the back of the group, but she takes the outside in the last corner and she always passes one skater, but this is really heavy. Yeah, when you're on the, uh, in the back of the peloton, you have the overview. But can she pass Anna is Pedroni? Yeah, there's gonna be a big battle for the elimination, a big battle. Ah, she's choosing the inside. It's most of the time not a good decision. Yeah, I think it's ninth place for Anna van der Bos. Yeah, ninth place for Anna van der Bos. Yeah, only 11 laps to go, and the Colombian skaters are looking really good. They're all the time in second and third position, looking to their opponents. With the Italian guy, the girl behind them. Ooh, nice the girl move. from China in the back now with Angelina Otto from Germany. I think this was Angelina Otto from Germany. Yes, eight plays for her. 
Yeah, so we see two Italian skaters, two skaters from Colombia, USA, China, and France. And the girl from China is in last position now. And the girl from Italy, uh, Giorgia Valanzano, is moving up on the outside. Oh, and the American girl is on the outside now. She looks in good position. The girl from China is in last. Yeah, but it will be Anais Pedroni or the girl from China. It's Anais Pedroni from Italy in seventh position. So the world champion from last year on the one lap and the 100 meter is out. So we only have six skaters left and seven laps on the board. We see from France, Honorine uh, Barro in the uh, first position. Yeah, and the Colombian skate is moving up in first and second, and there's a little fighting. Ooh, the French girl is in last position. Yep, the French girl was in third position when she went out yep. of the corner. And the she's French out now. girl is out. Only, only five laps to go with five skaters. Yeah, you see the girl from China moving up every time. She's doing a good job. Yeah, so the next bell, so we get two more eliminations to the final. So we see the two Colombians, we see the Italian girl, the girl from USA and China. China in last position now, but can she do it again? Can she move up? I think she can. It's close call. No, it's current stutter from USA who has to leave the race. So Fifth place for her. Serafina is still there. What a good effort. Five Three left to five. go. We only have four skaters left. Yes, yeah, so the last elimination in half a lap. Who will be the last eliminated skater? Will it be Fang from Palazzano China? Palazzano or China? It's China with uh, Wu Jian Fang in fourth position. So these ladies are fighting for bronze, silver and gold. Yes, and Palazzano is taking the lead and a little gap. But can she keep continuing this? One left to go. Oh, Valenzano is still in the lead. And what can she and do? All the Colombians on the inside and the outside. Who will win this race? Oh, they're battling for it. One girl won't give it to the other. They really fight for it. No, it will be. It will be Alison Correa Munieton before Gabriela Rueda Rueda and Georgia Valenzano with the bronze medal. And what a sprint, incredible, incredible. They were so strong. Valenzano did a great race, a great job. But the Colombian skaters were just too strong. It's not easy to skate against two Colombians. No, you were right. It's the other Colombian girl now who takes the world title. It seems like Rueda Rueda, Rueda, Rueda didn't want to give her the win.